So that's Sister C, Chrissy JC. I call her Sister C. I just always have. I think it would have been a good name for a channel, you know what I mean? Sister C. You remember it, don't you? Well, I do. It'd have been a lot less confusing for me. Because, like I say, it's very complicated, isn't it? Thinking about things. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I might, what? I've not researched. So, all I know is that the people that I know are fighting to stay on benefits, some of them. Shit in the pants that they're going to get slung off at any, you know, they're scared about everything that they do. So one of them in particular. You're not allowed savings and to claim benefits. You're not allowed. You never have been. There's a certain amount of money you're obviously allowed. But they say, well, if it's that amount of money, you have to spend it. Then when you've spent it, Come and see us. People years ago used to put the money in ices and stuff, didn't they? If they had any, they'd just stash it. You just can't do it. It's not. It's just a fact. It's a big gaping hole in Brian Harvey's story, if you ask me. So. Must be uh, an ex pop star's privilege, eh? Do it. Ring up wherever tomorrow and say, hey, I want to come and claim some benefits. Uh, I've only got £70,000 savings. When, what time do you want me to come in? <laughs> we don't want you to come in. You're not entitled to benefit until you've got next to fuck all. I mean, it's right. It's a, it is a fair enough rule, really, isn't it? In some ways, in some ways, it's an awful rule. You know, people are paid into a system, and then it's a fucking out, and they go, "No, you have to use your own money up first. So it is a bit of a dog shit rule, but it's still the rules of engagement. In the war. Told you, I just don't go away. I'm a bastard, I know it, but it's right because it needs to be fucking done. You know, if you want to blast onto here with history. Or his story. <laughs> then I'm going to scrutinise you. You know, I'm just waiting for the next manoeuvres. You got interviewed off Red Pill Film. Well, I'm sorry. I believe Red Pill Film's as dodgy as the day is long. And it's all that far right shit. As I said, connect the Scots. And uh, there you go. Anyway, luckily, I've found a cracking... And I can whiz a video up off, the, off, a, off YouTube and I can stick it up in minutes. So that's good. Rebel Rhymes, if you want me to upload any of your videos, just give us a shout and I'll come and lift it up for you and put it on my channel for you. Huh? How's that? You've gone a bit fucking quiet, what's up with you? <laughs> That's the schizophrenia kicked in now, what's up? <laughs> uh, motherfuckers. So I watched an Alan Watt the other night. It suddenly appeared on me thing, so I thought, well, if it's appeared on me thing, better watch it. Nah. 
same old Joe like, but he was saying, you know, and he has gone and looked through all the ways that they want things to go, if you know what I mean. Like, I was speaking to a kid today, explaining to about Monsanto's, you know, holding a gun to the head of the Middle East, really, Pakistan, India. Blah blah blah. But we probably know these things, but And the other lad was saying Cancer's rising in Pakistan and this the other this one lad says, Yeah it will it will and he couldn't think of the name went Monsanto's and then I gave him the lecture like You know, they said this germ this wheat is seedless. So the only way you can get make more bread is to get the seed off us. And it's genetically modified. So, cancer's creeping up now in Pakistan, apparently. And because the seed doesn't germinate, you've just got to keep going back to source. Yeah? That's what Monsanto's is all about. I said it's a depopulation programme, whether we like it or not. They want you to take part in it. There was someone the other day on that. It come up on my thing, so I thought I'd better watch it. And it was like, it's the House of Commons live when it goes live. It comes up on my thing, so I think, I better fucking watch that. It's come up on my thing. No independent thought going on here. Just press the fucking thing and watch it. It's on your thing. Or should I not have a flick around and independently look? So, no, you don't need to. All you've got to do is wait, and it'll come up. Something will come up on your thing. You don't need to think. You don't need to navigate around Google anymore. It tells you what to watch, which is brilliant for me. Because it means I've got more time to do the things that I really enjoy doing, which is not wasting time looking around for things that could possibly educate me. I want to be fucking doing that. You know what I mean? I'm not even sub to fucking Brian Harvey and all it does is come up, all, every, all his stuff. That's fucking bizarre. I thought, I'm a sub to this kid or what? I went and had a lot on his channel. No, I'm not. Mmm, must be nice. I thought, isn't it interesting that some people get promoted like that whilst claiming to be held back? And... There's no alarm bells rung in my mind, you know. No, oh, no, it's perfectly normal, isn't it? Well, he was an ex-pop star, wasn't he? Wasn't he? Ex-pop star. Of course. Shadowing that video and doing a video on it and trying to get sucked in, because he's going to get sucked in, because that's what it's all about, because it's all pre-paid for, pre-planned, and uh, it's now slowly being executed. <coughs> You can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? You can run, but you can't fucking hide. The old ones are the best. Well, they are, aren't they? They're always true, aren't they? They always, Alan Watts, he said it as he always used to. It's right up to date. It was on about Epstein and that. They always give you your heroes and they promote them up until they pick. And then they get loads of people watching that person. They give you a rough idea what you fucking, what you should be going on about. And off you, off you fucking trot. Until you have a massive fucking... A massive guilt complex, and it comes over you like fuck, like a John Harris, and you fucking top yourself. Boom, boom. When you realise that you fucking knew what was going on, and you didn't fucking whistle, you, you went for the, the fame, the money, and you stood on stages. But then the guilt got to you, and you just couldn't look at yourself in the mirror anymore. And off you pop. Yeah. 
Huh? And it comes and hits you. And you realise what a fucking evil cunt you've been. Right? And that you're in, you're in with the big boys. And they're actually controlling you. So, well, I think the truth movement settled down now. Because you're interviewing him and you're trying to damage Limitate because you know he's going fucking live wire radio rental and he's just saying, look, it's, it, I could debunk 70 fucking percent of the shit that I've said. Because that's what he says in the longer video of it, which is also on my channel. I'll try and find it, but it's very tricky to find on this fucking Android phone here as well. Very tricky to find. Plus, I don't label things very good, if you haven't noticed. I never have done. But I always just thought, well, these are for the people at that moment in time, you know, and, like, as things do. Like, there's videos, I delete them, which lazily could have gone up. But, like, they've been on my phone for a fortnight. It's kind of an element of what I'm waffling about has gone. You put them up for posterity, but I'll have to do something on that other channel, or which I can't remember how to get into now. Because it's all geared up on the other phone, which still will come on, and I can still get on. I have to fuck about to take my SIM card out. Let's come on. Not as easy as Google telling me what I watch, is it really? Huh? Anyway, I'm investing in a, a new microphone so that I sound better. Uh, and I'm having this back wall here. I've got a. They do murals and stuff like that, and I'm going to have them print me. And this will be like a bookcase. And just over there where you can see me on now on the wall, it'll have Crossman TV. I'll have to promote something or other as well, obviously. I mean, well, you will, won't you? And I've got the microphone on order. 9 99 so it should be good. Should be good. Should be the real deal. I can be booming out then, oh, booming. Yeah. It's all looking up for Crossman Channel. I'm I'm just gonna copy a little bit of what Brian's doing. See where it gets me. See, reach for the stars. Yeah. Yeah? Do you understand? Reach for the stars. Get it. I hope you do. We'll be one. 